I'm here sitting at my favorite breakfast place. I think I've had in a long time. Pikes Peak View is right over here. We have uh, Raleigh, Mount Raleigh's right there. Just gorgeous. Anyway, so in a recent video, I talked about pack weight, how to become lighter in your pack weight. In this video, I want to talk about a little bit about things that are, might weigh a little bit more, but are definitely worth carrying. Check it out. So out here in the wilderness, what I consider worth carrying is whatever makes you comfortable when you're sleeping. Now, the reason why we need a good night's sleep is, might be obvious, but we're out here uh, exhausted at the end of our day because we've hiked ridiculous amounts of miles and lots of elevation, and we're just, we're just kind of beat, and we need to be refueled for the next day. We really need good rest. Now, sometimes uh, that's all we get is rest. We don't get like great quality sleep. And so we spend, you know, maybe longer lying down than what we would at home. Sometimes, you know, eight hours, six to eight hours at home. Out here, it's not unusual for me to be laying down like 10 hours a day. And I'm not sleeping the whole time, but at least I need to get some rest. So whatever I'm resting on has got to be comfortable to give me the best quality rest that I can get. So you might carry something that might not be super ultra light, but it might be a little bit heavier, but it feels better, like a good sleeping mattress, a good sleeping pad, maybe uh, a, a good quilt or a sleeping bag. So maybe something that's a little bit heavier than what you would for an ultra light kit. Uh, you might carry a pillow. You know, I have this little blow up pillow, hardly weighs anything, but man, I need to be elevated in my head and that helps a lot. Sometimes I'll even wrap something else around it to make it even a little bit more comfortable. You might have sleeping clothes that you like to change into at night to that's a little bit drier, a little bit more comfortable. But I would say, like a lot of people do, invest in a good night's sleep. And that could be investment in weight or investment in cost or both. And number two, what I would say is worth carrying is an SOS um, communicator. This is, this is a satellite communicator. It also does SMS. It sends text messages and emails. Um, and so the reason why you want to carry this might be obvious. Uh, if ever you get, you know, incapacitated where you can't walk anymore, you have an accident, it could be a simple little slippage. It could be something more dramatic, like falling off the side of a hill or something. But, you know, accidents happen out here. And sometimes, you know, maybe you just overstress your leg and you just can't move it anymore. There's, there's all kinds of things that um, that might cause us to need one of these things. So for emergency purposes, absolutely. Um, it also gives my wife and my family a peace of mind. Every night, I will send them a little message just to let them know where I'm at. It sends them a little uh, uh, link to a map that tells them exactly where I'm camping, exactly where I'm at. And uh, these things work off of a worldwide satellite communication system. It, I think it's the uh, Uridium um, constellation. Uh, the military uses it all around the world. And so this thing hooks up into that 24-7 emergency support. Um, this really brings a good peace of mind when you're out there. When you get a little bit older, especially, mm -hmm. uh, people tend to get more worried about you. So... This thing is great, I recommend it, and it's worth carrying, in my opinion. Now, number three that I think is worth carrying is, <laughs> this might be a little bit strange to some of you, umbrella. I love my umbrella. And the reason is, it's great for the extremely hot days, and it's great for the cold, wet days, for both. So I was out in the Arizona desert, and it was getting to be 80 something degrees, and that was a life send because um, it kept me, I would say, 10 degrees at least cooler. It wasn't always the you know uh, most convenient thing to carry because of the wind uh, and the angle of the sun. But uh, but when I was able to use it, it was fantastic. Uh, I spent a day 
yesterday, about two, almost three hours in the rain, in the sleet, in the hail, in the wind. That umbrella kept me drier than any rain gear that I've ever had. And I have a rain gear um, a video coming out soon, so you'll want to check that out. I'm not going to rehash everything that I'm about to say in that. So my umbrella, love it. It's about eight ounces, not not hard to carry. And actually, actually I can take less other rain gear with me when I take my umbrella. And it's also great for when you're sitting around a camp, say it is raining and you need to set up your tent. Um, that umbrella is great for covering up your pack and other things so they don't get wet while you're setting up your tent. Um, it's just a great little thing. I love my little umbrella. Eight ounces. For me, worth the carry. And one last thing for me that I want to talk about on this video that's worth carrying is my camera equipment. Now, you know that I video this stuff. Before my YouTube days, I was taking like lots of pictures out here. I have literally thousands of pictures before my YouTube days that I took. I love recording uh, my trips, whether it's in photograph or whether it's on video. I have a large archive of all my experiences out here in the wilderness. And for me, I just enjoy the entire process. And it's just a hobby of mine and I love doing it. And I don't mind carrying all my gear is probably about two and a half pounds, so it's not like outrageous. It's more than what some people would carry. But for me, absolutely worth it. Some people just use their phone. And actually, phones are a pretty decent option these days. But I like holding a camera. I like adjusting it. I like all the fancy stuff that comes with a nice Canon camera. It brings me more joy than what it does heartache. So uh, worth it to me. All right, thanks for tuning in. I'm David on Earth. This is my YouTube channel. I talk about hiking and backpacking and gear and all the stuff that's associated with all that. It's kind of consuming for me, and I absolutely love it. If you do, you should consider subscribing to this channel because we have a lot in common and we should, we should connect. Speaking of connecting, go down in the comments. What's worth it for you to carry, even though it's a little extra weight? I'd like to hear your, your ideas. There's lots of them out there. All right, so... I'll see you on the trail.